What's up everybody and welcome back to episode 7 today of my Tekken How To Beginner's Guide. Today's not really a beginner's video, we're going to be getting a little more in depth. We're going to be going over the equivalent exchange mod or EE mod as some people call it and we will be crafting an energy condenser which is useful basically for making items out of thin air. Um, it's not really out of thin air, we'll use like scrap items such as cobble, nickelite and things like that to make EMC which will then be used to convert into diamonds. Also on a side note, I'll be going over how to craft them in an actual crafting grid rather than using the crafting table 2. It was brought to my attention that not all servers have the crafting table 2 enabled due to major duplication glitches and items not being consumed. Therefore, I'll be showing you how to make these items in a regular crafting table today. In a quick second here, you're going to want to pause the video and take note of the items that you're going to need for today's video. Alright, we're back now. Since we have the items that we need, we'll get on to making things. First, we're going to want to make uh, the lowest form of covalence dust, it's called. This uh, covalence dust not only can be used to, in this recipe, but it can be used to fix stone tools and things of that nature. As you can see, you're going to want to place your cobblestone in the crafting grid as so. Take your one piece of charcoal there, and we get 40, uh, like I said, low-end covalence dust. Next up, we'll be making the next form of uh, highest covalence dust, and to make that, we're going to need one piece of iron, and then we're going to take our one piece of redstone and place it there like so, and as you can see, we get another form of covalence dust. This covalence dust can be used to repair iron armor and basically any iron tools that you can craft in the game. Alright, now that we have that, next up we'll be crafting the highest form of covalence dust there is to make. You do so by placing one diamond there. One piece of coal there, and as you can see, we get another stack of covalence dust. This covalence dust is useful for repairing diamond armor and diamond tools. Alright, so now that we have the covalence dust, next up we will need to make a alchemical, alchemical chest, I believe it's called. We'll do that by placing the items, such the low covalence dust, the next step up, and then the highest covalence dust. Then what you're going to want to do is take your two pieces of stone, place them there as I did. Uh, take one of the diamonds, place it in the middle. I believe the chest goes there. And then we're going to use our two iron ingots and put them there. And as you can see, we get the L-chemical chest. Now that we have the L-chemical chest, we'll be crafting the energy condenser. We do so by placing the L-chemical chest in the middle that we just crafted. We'll then take our four pieces of obsidian and place them in the corners as so. Last but not least, put our diamonds around it like this, and as you can see now, we have the energy condenser. What I'm going to do is take a quick pause. I'm going to go set this energy condenser up and show you how useful it can be. And like I said in the beginning of the video, pretty much craft diamonds and, you know, other ores and ingots out of thin air. Alright, so I'm back in a... Here I'll just do a mock-up. We'll uh, create a diamond. What you're going to want to do is take your diamond out of your chest. You'll place it here in this upper left-hand corner. And this is your EMC bar, and this will tell you how far your progress is towards crafting a diamond. As you can see, I've got a bunch of mock-up stuff in this chest. You can use anything to craft a diamond now. Then all you're going to want to do is simply uh, have your diamond in the corner, place your redstone into the chest here. And as you can see, our, bar, our progress bar is slowly go going up, and it has now made us one diamond out of all that redstone. I believe it takes like 8,124 EMC to craft one diamond. But as you can see, this is very useful. Um, it pretty much makes diamonds out of thin air because later on we'll be needing a lot of diamonds to make the more expensive stuff in equivalent exchange such as red matter and dark matter. And on a side note, in order to pick this chest up, you don't want to use an iron pick or a stone pick. You're going to need to use a diamond pick or better. And by diamond pick or better, I mean a dark matter pick or a red matter pick if you have it. Um, if you're just watching my videos and following along, you probably don't have those yet by now. But as you can see, we got six diamonds out of the process, which isn't too bad. You can also use cobble or just basically any uh, scrap material that you have left over, you know, to uh, get a little bit of EMC. As you can see, cobble's not worth very much, but, you know, it does accumulate after a while if you've been down there mining for a bit or if you have a quarry set up. You caught my first video that I ever posted about the quarry. You can then use all the scrap to make diamonds or basically any ore in the game. 
well, I hope you guys enjoyed t today's video. Um, the next one I'll be going a little more in depth with the equivalent of exchange and showing you how to craft some items out of there, such as the alchemy bag, which a viewer asked how to make. Like I said, that wraps the video up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned. This has been Too Cold and I'm out. Peace.